about those goals instead of setting goals that fall flat that you cannot achieve and then you feel like poop because you did not achieve them. Tell me, tell me. Did you watch my workshop yesterday, first of all? Did you get to see it? And if not, are you going to watch the replay? Um, I would love to hear if you are. And I literally, oh well. They're just going to have to figure out where I am. Because I can't figure out how to share it in there. And I think it's really cool that you guys are watching. I think it's super cool. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me all the things. Are you ready to set some goals? Are you excited about learning how to set some goals that actually make sense and are doable? Something that you can actually get something out of. Hey guys, I'm so happy to see you. So let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna have a handout for you. Actually, let me find the link here real quick and I will drop it in the comments section for those of you on Facebook. Um, I don't think I know how to do that on Insta, but I can add it or you can just message me and let me see. I don't know if I can add it on here. If you're on another platform, um, just send me a message and I'll tell you how to get your hands on it or hop over to my public Facebook page, just Annette Copeland and um, go to the live and you can copy the link right there. It's a PDF file, you can download it, super simple. Just grab it from there. But what I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about is setting SMART goals. And SMART actually is an acronym, it stands for something. And um, we're gonna talk about what that is and then if you look at that worksheet, you're gonna be super thrilled because it makes it all very simple for you. But um, creating goals is fantastic. But like what I see people do is I see people create goals that are really outlandish. Like I want to lose a hundred pounds. Okay. If you want to lose a hundred pounds, that's a pretty overwhelming goal. Like if that's your goal, what are you going to do this week to make that happen? And that's what we're talking about right now is say you want to be a musician. You want to be a rock star or a country singer that is famous. You, um, that is a huge goal. And it's difficult to even think about achieving that goal because it's so big. So what I want you to do is come up with those great, big, hairy, audacious goals that you want to hit. And then go through, first of all, you have to go through the why process that we talked about yesterday. But then I also want you to sit down and think about what are the steps? Like, what do you have to do? Who do you have to become? What kind of things do you have to do in order to reach that big loft to do? Who do you have to become? What kind of things do you have to do in order to reach that big lofty battery? Um, I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of goals that I think, um, are great places to start. And then you can get better at doing this as you go. But SMART goals are, um, it's a acronym for a way to create goals that are doable. I'm trying to make this work, guys. Hopefully that will be okay. Um, so if you're, you or are looking at specific who, what, where, when, why? Like, what is your SMART goal? What is the specific goal that you wanna reach? Very specific. It has to be measurable. If you can't measure it, you can't track your process. So yes, losing 100 pounds, that is a measurable goal. But what I'm saying, for those of you that are new to setting goals and achieving them, is that's a very big goal. And it can be so overwhelming that it'll make you give up too easily. So I want you to create some small goals that are doable for yourself that you can achieve and then feel good about and then make new goals. So the next word is realistic for the R. They have to be realistic. They have to be timely, something that can be measured by time. So you're gonna specifically choose something, you're gonna make it measurable, it's gonna be realistic, and then it's gonna be timed. And then it has to be something that is attainable. Now, 
for your small weekly goals. They have to be attainable. Now your great big lofty goal, shoot for the moon. Pick something huge that you want to attain, something you want to do, and I don't care how crazy it is. If you're dedicated to getting there, you can figure out how to get there. But you have to have, you have to have goals. You have to have goals. And they have to be big in order to get there. But if you, um, if you want to achieve them little by little, then they have to be reasonably accessible to you. So um, what are you trying to accomplish? What specifically? You know, what is the who, what, why, where, when of it? How can you measure it? Like, will you put some sort of measurement on it? What can you measure? I'm going to give you some examples here in a second. Is it attainable and actionable? Can you make it happen? Can you develop the person that you need to be to achieve that goal? Can you get that? Can you be that person? Can you get to be that person? Is it realistic and relevant? Is it something that you're willing to work for and something that supports your needs, values, and your vision for the future? Is it timed? Can you set an appropriate deadline for this goal? So pick a short-term goal that you want to accomplish over the next week and tie that into your big goal, the big lofty goal that you have. And let's just pick that 100 pounds of weight loss. So if that's your goal, then you need to come up with some ideas on how you're going to make that happen because just setting that goal doesn't make it happen. You have to take action. So are you going to do something like eat three meals at the table this week that you made yourself. So that's actionable. It's timed because it's gonna be three times this week. So you have two times in there. Three times this week at the kitchen table that you made yourself. That is a great example of a goal that you can use and you can actually hit that this week. Notice it's not a month long and maybe you need to start with a daily goal. Say you're gonna start drinking 100 ounces of water every day. That's a great goal. It's a great way to get started. And guess what? You might do that for a week, set a goal for, for seven days, and you might only hit that goal a total of five times in that seven days. You might hit that goal a total of three times in that seven days, but as long as you have a goal to hit, then you can track your process, you can mark your process, you can get better as you go. So that's a great example. I'm gonna drink 100 ounces of water every day this week. That's a great, smart goal. You can also do something like, um, I am going to create a shopping list of healthy foods that match the healthy recipes that I'm going to eat this week, and I'm going to go shopping for those foods on Saturday or I'm going to meal prep this week on Sunday, so I need to go to the store on Saturday to pick out the foods that go with the menu that I created. Or maybe just start with, I'm gonna create a menu this week. But you have to have measurable, timed goals that you can actually achieve. And then guess what? Every time you achieve one of those goals, you celebrate. I don't care if you put it on Facebook or Instagram or call your mom, Whatever it is that you do, you celebrate whenever you hit one of those goals. I cannot reach my water. Um, so I made this amazing uh, PDF file for you. And I think it's gonna be awesome. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna pop it up here on, on Facebook if it'll let me share my screen. I think it asked me just a minute ago if I wanted to share my screen, but maybe not. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on it if that's the case. Um, I swear it just said that. Oh, well, I'm not going to do it. It's too much trouble. I'll plan ahead next time. But I put the link in the Facebook Live so you can go there and grab the SMART Goals PDF so that you can start to create your own SMART Goals. And um, it's... Fairly simple process. And then I even give you a page where you can write your big lofty goal and some goals for this week. And then I gave you a to-do list of some things that maybe you need to get done this week that will help you reach 
those goals. So not only did I give you a great big goal, but I'm telling you that you need to break it into smaller pieces. What can you do today? What can you do this week? What can you do this month that will help you reach the goal that you're shooting for? I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. What can you do today to reach that goal one step at a time? What is it? Pick something that you can do today, that you can do again tomorrow, and the day after that, that will help you reach that goal that you're trying to reach. And create a SMART goal around that. Something very specific, something measured, something that's attainable, something that's realistic, and something that's timed. If you don't put a time on your goal, then you don't know if you've achieved it. If you don't create measurements for your goals, then you don't know when you've achieved them. And if you don't achieve anything, then you're gonna feel like a failure, and then you're gonna give up. So I don't want you to give up. I want you to pick a big, lofty goal, something that you've always wanted to do, something that you're committed to doing, something that we talked about yesterday when you were trying to come up with your big why, the reason why you're doing what you're doing, what is it? What is your why? What is that goal? And then break it down into daily. Maybe you need to break it down into minute by minute. I don't know. I don't know what you need, but you need to break it down into bite-sized pieces that you can achieve on a regular basis. Because saying, I want to go to the moon is a fantastic goal, but unless you start doing the little things that are going to get you there eventually, you're never going to get there. And if you don't know how to measure how close you're getting to that goal, if you don't know how to measure how successful you are being, then you're going to feel like a failure. And I don't want you to feel like a failure. I want you to feel like a dang rock star. Yes, I hit a goal today. Yes, I hit a goal tomorrow. I'm going to up that goal next week and I'm going to hit a little bit bigger goal. Say you started walking as exercise. Fantastic way to exercise. Great for stress, great for heart health, all of those things. Reduces blood sugar, reduces heart, I mean, um, blood pressure, goodness. Um, walking is a great way to get some exercise, but you're not gonna walk five miles the first day you go out. So what can you do this week to take you towards that goal of walking five miles? Do you walk a half a mile today? Do you walk a half a mile two times today? Do you, are you able to walk a whole mile today? I don't know. But if you don't start somewhere, maybe you can only walk to the mailbox and back today. And maybe you have to take a bucket and stop halfway there and sit down and take a breather and then get up and walk the rest of the way and then take a little break on your bucket again when you get back. I don't know what that looks like to you, but if you're not dedicated, if you haven't figured out what your why is, you're never going to come up with the idea to take the bucket with you. Your why has to be the biggest thing in your life. And then you have to use that why to push you to achieve all of those little tiny goals that are going to get you to that great big goal in the end. So I don't want to keep you any longer. This has been about 15 minutes and, um, really sorry on um, Instagram. I started you late. You missed out on part of it. Hop on over to Facebook. I'm um, just Annette Copeland on Facebook. You can find me there or look for Ask Dr. Annette and you can watch the whole video there. Um, even though I'm looking down most of the time because I'm looking at my phone instead of at the camera because they're like 12 inches apart. But um, I would love to hear some of your goals. I would love to hear some of your SMART goals. I would love for you to share them with me. Let me know what you're thinking. Maybe you need a little tweaking. Maybe you need a little help. Let's talk about what you can do for your own personal SMART goals so that you can start achieving things, even tiny little bits at a time, and feel more successful and feel like a rock star while you are going after that big, hairy, audacious goal. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you're watching this on the replay. Just let me know that you caught it on the replay and send me a message. I'd love to know what your goal is. I'd love to know your big, hairy, audacious goal. And I'd also love to know what you're doing next week, this week, today, tomorrow 
to start moving towards that goal, even if it seems impossible. What are you doing to move towards that goal? And remember, if you set a great, big, hairy, audacious goal and you overshoot or you miss by one degree, guess what? You still managed something amazing. So let's start dreaming. Let's start doing. Let's start thinking about what you can do to reach those little goals that are going to point you in the right direction to that hairy, big, great, big, hairy, audacious goal that you want to hit. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you bunches. I can't wait to hear your ideas. Talk to you soon.